Hi, good evening. This is uh, Obi from Occupy News Network, and at the moment we are here at this uh, little park, a green. What's happened is that two years ago we did occupy that space over there. That's actually the local runabout. But for some reason, uh, G4S have decided to uh, cordon the area, and uh, and they started claiming that it's actually theirs. And then when uh, some of the occupiers decided to uh, put up uh, banners there. Uh, G4S tried to uh, take it, uh, take it, take them away, saying that we were, uh, I don't know, trespassing or something. But the thing is, it was pointed out by the police had to uh, intervene, which is good. They're doing their jobs, pointing out actually that it is a council land, so that means the, uh, those uh, banners are, should should be allowed, would be allowed to stay. But I'm just uh, wondering why the uh, G4S. Which is actually, um, remember, they're, uh, these are actually, uh, well, mercenaries, um, jumped up security people, all, are also running um, prisons in Israel. So this is actually uh, the first theme of um, on Monday was Stop Arming Israel. So please uh, check them out. Uh, that would be on the, um, on the Facebook page, uh, Occupy London, and also look out for Occupy uh, the arms fair, which is actually the, an event happening now. You can uh, also uh, find us with Occupy News Network, and I will be posting this on YouTube later. You can always subscribe, of course. Yes, we are always the, we are the 99%. And uh, arms fair, kill innocent children, stop the ACI. Okay, uh, the ones who don't know anything about this, we are here because of the, uh, every two years there is the arms fair, which is uh, the DSEI. Hashtag is DSEI2015, and this will be 30,000 uh, terrorists and arms dealers all in under one roof for well, a few days uh, selling weapons of mass murder. For some reason, uh, there is uh, the only one, <laughs> the only thing I found in the mainstream media, well, it's the Morning Star, the only British owned uh, newspaper that you can actually find in, uh, in the country, really. The rest are all owned by uh, foreign, uh, foreign capital. Um, and then we find out as well that the um, uh, it's, uh, this seems to be have been overshadowed by the uh, refugee crisis, but of course it's all being posted, being reported as the migrant crisis. And then we have people from the mainstream like the Daily Mail, uh, a Bermuda-based newspaper, and uh, and the Scummy Sun, Rupert Murdoch's uh, uh, newspaper all encouraging attacks into uh, Syria, then you have to wonder why. Then you find out, oh, it's actually Jenny, um, a company um, which is actually, uh, <laughs> what's the name, Rupert Murdoch is a shareholder along with uh, uh, Roth, uh, Rothschild, um, have been granted um, the rights to explore for oil in the Golan Heights. Now the Golan Heights, remember, was actually uh, part of Syria, but then uh, Israel in, Israeli uh, military invaded that, uh, con uh, that country and now they have, uh, they have occupied it. So you have to actually wonder why is that that they want to bomb Syria and then you say yes, it's probably another fight, war for God, war for gold, war for oil, war for oil, drugs. It's actually uh, quite a sad situation, but anyway, I will be enjoying the, um, uh, the hospitality of the camp. Uh, please join us. We will be here for the rest of the week. Near station is uh, Prince uh, Regent. That's on the DLR. DLR. Uh, if you just go towards Beckton, then you will find it. We're done. When the east um, east entrance to the XL, which is actually where the biggest terrorist. Um, the biggest uh, terrorist um, event is happening. Well, this year it happens every two years. Remember that. Peace out, guys, and see you later. This is Obi from uh, Occupy News Network. Uh, I am reporting from the Excel. Uh, hashtag is DSEI, DSEI 2015, Occupy the Arms Fair. Peace out.